Hi there Connect family. As many of you would know, we've been working on our house over the last couple of years with some renovations. We finished the upstairs and we started uh, working on the downstairs area. And the first uh, item on the agenda was to create a laundry and toilet downstairs. And so if you follow with me, I'll take you on a bit of a tour and show you what we've been doing. The first thing was to build a little room downstairs to create a laundry. So what I've done here, as you can see, I've got some framework. I've put up a framework here and I've aligned the framework and to create this room. And as you can see, here's the laundry. I've lined the whole uh, room here and also I've put down some flooring and tiling and they've got the plumber and electrician to do their bits. And so we've created this space here. Uh, it's still not finished. As you can see, the architrave behind me uh, still has to go on and a few more trims and things to just finish things off. But it's a work in progress and it started with a bit of a, a, a visual of what I needed to be done. And this reminds me of a scripture that comes from Philippians chapter 1 and verse 6. It says here, God has begun a good work in you and he will complete it. And see, God's got a vision for your life. It's a vision for good. It's a vision for potential to be realized. And He's put a lot of stuff in your life. And He's begun that good work by, first of all, keeping His hand upon you, saving you, and bring you to a place where you can, He can walk with you and you can walk with Him. And so God has begun the good work. And the, and the good news is that He will continue to work in you and He will complete that good work as long as you stay uh, walking beside him in Philippians 2 and verse 13 it says God is working in you he still is working in you he's working in me he's refining me he's knocking out all the things that aren't Jesus in my life to make me more like Jesus and he says here God is working in you giving you the desire to obey him and the power to do what pleases him giving you the desire to obey him and giving you the power to do what pleases Him. And folks, that's such a great promise there that we can hold on to, that God will put the desire in our hearts to do what will please Him, that He will give us the power to fulfill it. And this, mor uh, this morning, as I'm sharing this with you, or whatever time you're watching this, keep your heart open, keep reaching out to Him, keep uh, receiving the power of the Holy Spirit to work in your life and keep drawing you to Jesus. Keep allowing Him to work in your life and giving you perspective to see the great things He's doing in your life and how He will bring it to fulfillment. And so keep, and I want to keep encouraging you. Don't give up. Uh, God is still working in you. He will complete the great work He has started because He is faithful. And we can trust in His faithfulness. And I'd love to pray with you again this morning. Father, thank you for these wonderful folk. I pray for my family and I pray that you'd pour out your spirit upon their lives and help them, Lord, to come to the place of uh, just uh, walking close to you and experiencing your work, the work of your spirit in their lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you, folks, and I look forward to seeing you again.